Preferred pronouns, gender neutral washrooms, changing identities. It's complicated, but a new CBC podcast called They and Us hopes to make it easier. Wilf Fundal is the host, and we have reached them in Prince George. Wilf, hello there. Hello, Gloria. Thanks so much for having me on the show. Well, it's interesting. I mean, you go by the pronoun they. Uh, tell us a little more about your, your personal story with identity and expression. Um, we, we were doing an interview. I mean, I work for a radio show in northern BC, Daybreak North, and I read the morning news. And I remember having someone on the show, Harper Perrin, talk about how they had come out as non-binary. Um, that at medical school, because of their accidental coming out, uh, the UBC school made some changes to how they treat students or how they see students and even creating gender neutral washrooms. And it was during this conversation with, with the host that my mind sort of started to go in all different directions. It was essentially blown because what Harper was saying really resonated with me. And that's sort of where my journey, if you want to call it that, started just about a year ago. Can you tell us about the drag personality, Ms. Fondle? <laughs> you know, it, before, I, uh, before I realized I was non-binary, my, uh, I guess, nighttime thing <laughs> is Ms. Fondle. And uh, she um, wears high heels, uh, sometimes high-heeled boots. Uh, she came out just a few years ago for the first time. And I mean, when I look back, when I'm Miss Fondle, I asked people to use the she, her pronouns. And it's sort of, I guess, the, the middle ground between uh, figuring out my gender identity and figuring out that it, it, there's so many layers to it that, that makes it so complex for, for a lot of people. Well, you're a journalist, but this is a very personal story or a personal end to, the, to this whole world. And this podcast is going to be online for a very long time. What kinds of fears did you face about that? Yeah, it's still terrifying, Gloria. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's still terrifying because, I mean, as journalists, we typically don't insert ourselves into stories. And so when I started the project with, with my producer, Andrew Crieta, it, I, I mean, I talked to him about how I didn't really want to talk about my own stuff. Our purpose is to tell stories of people and to provide a safe space for people. But as we continued to go, I started to realize that these are things that are also bothering me and things that I don't know. And so we started this podcast with the frame that I'm going through all of this, I'm figuring it out, but you're figuring it out with me as we hear stories. So th that's, that's the evolution of the podcast. No, and I appreciate it because, I mean, we're all navigating this new world and, and we're afraid to put a foot wrong as well, especially as broadcasters. So what, what's the real purpose of, of this podcast? Yeah, I'd say the purpose is for a safe place to, uh, well, the purpose for our characters was a safe space for them to tell their stories uh, so people can better understand. But really that's, that's sort of the, the big thing is I just want people to have a better appreciation for these lived experiences and for people not to be scared to make the, the wrong or use the wrong pronouns. I mean, I was telling some friends, they've known me forever. I mean, I'm 35, so all those years they've known me as he, him. and so when they try to talk to me or describe me, they might use he, him instead of they, them, and that's okay. And that's what I'm trying to, I guess what, I, what, what I'd like people to take from it is the, the world that we live in, the language, people are evolving. And so I, I, I don't want to leave anyone behind, but also I don't want people to be so scared of not talking about it that they just don't talk about it. Yeah, no, good point. So who are some of the people who are, are talking about it in your podcast? Yeah, I mentioned Harper Perrin is one of the people. Uh, they are a non-binary medical student in northern British Columbia. We'll hear about their growing up. Uh, they also underwent a type of conversion therapy. Uh, we'll hear their story and their coming out. We'll hear from Yach now. Her name is, I, I hope that I pronounced it properly. Uh, she is a Haida trans woman uh, who uses, uh, has used her culture to, to figure out who she is as a person. But we'll also hear from Bryn Hanks, who is a transgender man, and how he navigates the world with his autism. So these are sort of the stories that we'll hear uh, on, on the podcast. And the first three episodes are already out, and we're hoping to get another three to come out pretty soon. Well, well thank you for this window into this world of, of they and us. So good to talk to you. It's such a pleasure to talk to you. And really, it's a privilege to be able to, to describe and tell these stories. And, and I hope people 
uh, will, will find something useful and something educational from them.